Tennessee. It's championship college basketball. The cream of the campus drop. Brought to you by today's Wheaties, breakfast of champions. Very special goodness in toasted whole wheat flakes. By Vitalis with V7. Keeps your hair neat all day without grease. By Double Good Double Vin Chewing Gum. Adds to your pleasure anytime. And by ABC, where the top college basketball attraction is presented each week for your viewing pleasure. Hello, everybody. This is Jack Buck at Brewer Field House in Columbia, Missouri. And in this afternoon's ball game, the University of Kansas meets the University of Missouri. Brother, we've got a full house here at Brewer Field House. A lot of action, a lot of noise, as you can well hear, with the Missouri band in the background. Here comes the Missouri team on the floor. And of course, you know we're playing on the Missouri home court this afternoon. We want to introduce the two coaches and the starting lineups for the afternoon's ball game. Let's see if we can get Coach Dick Hart to come over here. This is the final regular season game for each club. It's a big eight conference game. Kansas is in second place, no matter what happens in this ball game. And we're going to coach, talk to Coach Dick Harp right here. Coach, nice to say hello. How are you, Jack? It's nice to be here today. It sounds like we're in Columbia. It sounds like we might be in for it. I'm not sure. Coach, uh, you're assured of second place in the conference, no matter what happens in this ball game today. Yes, we are. Uh, we have some hope for first place, but we'd have to win and Kansas State would have to lose. Well, I know the boys will be actually looking forward to the outcome of that game, but they have to take care of this one first. They certainly do. Can we meet the boys right now? Sure can. Right. First two boys, we'd like to introduce our co-captain, Bill Bridges, who's our fine pivot man, one of the great players in our conference. This is Bill. Bill, nice to see you. This is Mr. Buck. Good luck to you. Thank you. And the next youngster we'd like for you to meet is Steve Ketchum, our other co-captain, who's uh, done a great job for us this year. Steve? This is Steve Ketchum. Hi, Dean. You're not in the starting lineup today, but I know you'll see a lot of action, and good luck to you. Thank you. And the next youngster we'd like for you to meet, I believe it'll be Nolan Allison. Does he have a brother on the squad? Yes, he does, Butch. This is Nolan Allison. Nolan plays guard for us. Hi, Nolan. Best Hi. to you. I think you got your hands full this afternoon. Sure, right? they're going to be trying hard. You know who you're going to be guarding this afternoon? I think Jill Scott. Busy day. All right. The next youngster we'd like to introduce is Alan Corral, who plays forward for... Alan, you'll have another year in front of you, but make this last one a good one today. I hope so. And the next youngster is Jerry Gardner, Wichita. Jerry's our other guard starting today. All right, Jerry, Jerry good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. You're only starting five today, right? Yes, we're only starting five. We want to introduce both of This is Wayne Hightower, who's been all-conference for us two years. Wayne, the very best to you. This will be your last collegiate game, right? No, I'm just a junior. Just a junior. Yes. Well, bad news for the Big Eight. Good luck. Thank you, man. Don't try to run Wayne off. We'll need him next year, Jack. And you'll need him this afternoon. Certainly do. The best to you. Thank you very much. Right. It's been nice to be here. Coach Dick Harp of the Kansas Jayhawks. And here's an old friend, Sparky Stalkup, the coach of Missouri. Coach, good to see you. Hi, Jack. Good, good to see you. We got a lot, of, uh, a lot of support here at Columbia this afternoon. Well, certainly we have, Jack. Uh, and we need it, you know. <laughs> they beat you in the first meeting. Yes, they did. They got us with 13 over there. Uh, we got a little foul trouble early in the ball game, our boy Cox, and uh, that hurt us a little bit. And so uh, we'd also lost Don Sarver in the ball game, and who helped us a great deal late uh, this season. Your boys have been hot and cold this year. When they're good, they're very, very good. Yes, that's right, Jack. Uh, when our uh, break was working, our flow down the floor, then we... Uh, uh, we played pretty well. What do you say today? A toss-up, perhaps? Well, I hope so. I hope we uh, come out a little more to toss-up. Well, well, I know you're holding that. Why don't you step over on this side, will you please, and introduce the boys to us, Coach? Come on, Jody. Jack, this is Joe Scott, our captain. Hi, Joe. Right Joe's from, uh, Joe's from Gainesville, Missouri, uh, captain of our ball club. Uh, broke the field house record here in scoring 46 points in one game and uh, has more than 1,000 points for his career. Going to have another 46 today, Joe? I hope so. Good luck to you. Thank you. He's a senior. We hate to see him go. <laughs> and the next boy. Next boy, uh, Jack, is uh, Ronnie Cox. Ronnie Cox from Columbia. Hi, Ronnie. Hello, sir. He's an All-American baseball player, and we hope today's All-American basketball player, and he will be. We He's hope a junior so. here, uh, Jack, uh, and from Columbia, Missouri, has, play, has lettered uh, last year with us and going to letter this year. Good luck in this basketball game, and then a lot of luck in the coming baseball season. Thanks, sir. The next boy is uh, our center, uh, Charlie Hink from Malda Bend. He's a senior, Jack. Hi, Charlie. Nice to say hello. Hello. 
He's in wildlife and uh, conservation, and uh, he's the highest scorer in Missouri's history. Also uh, in the top four in the Big Eight history in scoring. We're going to hate to see him go, I'll tell you that. You're going to have a busy day with Mr. Hightower today, aren't you? I'm afraid so. Good luck to you. Thank you. Jack, this is Howard Garrett, a sophomore. Hi, Howard. Hi, sir. He's from uh, Poplar Bluff and uh, going to have to replace Hank the next year. Uh, came late this season, has played real well for us. Uh, we're real glad to have him and uh, and uh, hope he plays real well today, and we think he will. you got some big shoes to fill next year. We're going to try it. He'll do it. We'll make this one a good one today. We're going to do it. Another sophomore, uh, Jack, uh, Kenny Dowdy from Heron, Illinois. Hi, Kenny. Rich, sir. Uh, he's a sophomore, and, uh, and we have the feeling that he's going to be one of the better backcourt men in this league uh, next year and the next year. They play uh, terrific high school basketball in Heron, don't they? They sure do. Best in the country? That's right. Talk well, to that. He's going to play well for us here, too. Good luck to you. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Coach, a lot of luck to you. We'll be talking to you after the game. Thank you very much. Right. Well, you've met both squads now. And in just a moment, the game between Kansas and Missouri will get underway. Seems like I'm always on the go, speaking for fitness. Here, there, everywhere, all over the country. Someone estimated I'll rack up a million miles in five years' time. You'd be surprised how many important groups like the United States Junior Chamber of Commerce are interested in American youth and fitness. Sometimes when I speak at a dinner or a luncheon, the boys like to kid me. They know I'm a Wheaties man, and as a gag, they like to serve up a whopping big bowl of today's Wheaties. They know I always have an appetite for Wheaties. And I know why Wheaties do such a good job of nourishment. Wheaties are whole wheat, all wheat. You try the special goodness of today's Wheaties, one of the big G cereals from General Mills. I think I'll slip out and get myself a quick bowl of Wheaties. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. We're at Columbia, Missouri. Kansas and Missouri about to go at it. Those are the Missouri stands across the way from where we are. And you see the co-captains of Kansas, along with Joe Scott, the captain of the Tigers of Missouri, meeting with the two officials. Tom Glennon is one official. He's the fellow on your right. Pat Haggerty is the other. And there is the Kansas huddle prior to the game with Dick Harp. This team has had a terrific season. They've won 17 and lost seven. They're 10 and 3 in conference play. And Missouri comes on the floor. Missouri is 8 and 15 for the year and 6 and 7 in the conference. Kansas is a short of at least a second place finish and a possible first place tie, but they cannot play in postseason tournament because of a recruiting violation. We're ready to go in the ball game. Missouri will be going from our right to our left. And jumping will be. Hank and Bridges. And Hightower has the ball, and Kansas has the first scoring opportunity. Moving the ball on the back line. We'll pick these players up and identify them for you. Underneath it goes, and out of bounds. Ken Dowdy with the ball, giving into the post. And the shot by Garrett, no good. And another rebound by Bridges, who is the leading rebounder in the Big Eight this year. Alan Correll with the ball. There's Hightower at the post. He can hook. Nice touch, but he missed. Hightower missed. Another shot by Bridges. Pinky gets the ball. And no score in the ball game. Missouri trying to pass break, as you see. To the side. To Garrett. Shot no good. Partially blocked and picked off by Hightower. Kansas has some terrific rebounding power with Bridges and Hightower. This is Hightower with the ball. There's a whistle, no basket, no basket, three-second violation. Bridges was in there too long. Bridges is 6'5", Hightower is 6'8 and a half. Dowdy with the ball on the back line. Driving in, no good. Battle for it, jump ball. K.E. is 6'7". He gives an inch and a half to Hightower. And has a two-inch advantage on Bridges, with whom he's jumping now. Well, the Bridges can really jump. And no score in the game. About a minute and a half has gone by. Driving from the side, Ellison. No good. 
No, he rebounds. No good again. Boy, you see that Bridges get up and score. It counts. And he was fouled. The foul is by Cox. You're going to look a long time before you see anybody jump as well as this fellow who's at the free throw line now. Bill Bridges, 6'5", a senior from Hobbs, New Mexico. Just scored the first points of the game. He's shooting one. The foul was on Ronnie Cox, number 40 of Missouri. Ball's in play right here. Three to nothing. Bridges with a three-point play. Joe Scott on the back line along with Ken Dowdy, who now has the ball. To the side. Driving with it is Ronnie Cox. The shot by Dowdy was no good. And another Bridges rebound. They're trying to fast break, but Missouri hustles back on defense. To the side it goes to Ellison. Now Hightower, Gardner on the back line. Over to this side to Alan Correll. Shot is blocked nicely. Underneath. And blew the layup, but Bridges puts it in, and he has scored all five. Five to nothing. Bridges has all five points in the game. Ball game has just started here at Columbia, Missouri. Joe Scott, who scored 46 points his last time out, is number 22. He's in the long the right sideline now. With the ball, Garrett to Dowdy. Shot by Dowdy. First points for Missouri makes it five to two. Putting the ball down. Hightower, as big as he is, plays away from the basket some of the time, as you see. Gardner from way out. That's Bridges all along. Here's a Missouri fast break. Three on one. They lost the ball. Pass it off. The shot is good. By Ronnie Cox. They make the time to four. Ronnie Cox, a junior from Columbia, playing in his hometown this afternoon. There's a foul against Howard Garrett. Hightower was driving on him. Garrett fouled him. That's the second foul of the ball game. Both charged against Missouri during this Big Eight conference game from Columbia. Shooting one, Wayne Hightower, only a junior. He's from Philadelphia. Makes it six to four. You know any other good basketball players who played at Kansas who are from Philadelphia? Like Chamberlain? This is Joe Scott. Rebound by Garrett. Back out to Scott. Into Garrett. Give and go, a foul. He was held by Nolan Ellison. Missouri had the give and go underway, and Ellison knew that he had been whipped on defense, and he reached out and grabbed Joe Scott, a senior from Gainesville, Missouri, shooting one. No good. And rebounded by Correll. Ellison. No good. Look at those guys go up and rebound. And look at Missouri rebound. Howard Garrett came down with that one. Doughty is in a hurry. Intercepted pass by Ellison. Then underneath to Gardner, blew the layup, out of bounds, belongs to Kansas. Both clubs are attempting to run this afternoon. Both coaches indicated that they would try that. Gardner inbounds to Bridges. Bad pass. Six to four, Missouri trails, and they have a chance to tie it up right here. Joe Scott into the corner. Underneath to Hank. Foul is on 32, Bill Bridges. Hank will be shooting one. The last time these two clubs met in Lawrence, Kansas, was 88 to 73, a 15 point win. There's a good close up of the Missouri senior, Charlie Hank. Free throw good, makes it six to five. It was five to nothing. With Kansas out in front, but Missouri has come to life. This is Hightower, he can move for a big guy. Underneath the Bridges. And Bridges has scored seven of their eight points. And it's eight to five in favor of Kansas. Ken Dowdy on the back line. Into Garrett. Misses. Dowdy gets the rebound, brings it back out. Hank with a hook. Eight to seven to score. We have four men on this floor who have scored a thousand points or more in their career. This Ellison can really fly with that ball. Keep an eye on him. Here's Hightower hooking. Dowdy with the rebound. Here's a three on two break. Dowdy down the middle. Loses it, gets it back. There's good speed. Ken Dowdy with the ball. Now to Ronnie Cox. 
Cox is from Columbia, the junior. Joe Scott. Driving. Gets in there. Through the shot. Hightower gets the rebound. Here's a fast break. Driving in is Gardner. They can run. 10 to 7 the score. In favor of Kansas with 1449 left in the half. Scott across the 10 second line. Trying to drive all the way in. Hank scores. A nice feed from Joe Scott to Charlie Hank. 10 to 9, and I think you already have an idea of the sort of ball game to expect this afternoon. There's a traveling violation. And Kansas turns the ball over. Ken Dowdy with the ball. To the sideline to Garrett. Cross court pass to Cox. Dowdy from the corner. Fence. 10 to 9, Kansas out in front, and Kansas has the ball. This is Bridges. And fouled by Hank. Bridges had a step on him, and uh, Hank blocked him with his body. Bridges, who has seven points, is at the free throw line. Fellow from Hobbs, New Mexico. Missouri's ball, they still trail by a point. To the side to Garrett. Bridges with another rebound, two on two. Bridges stops. The shot by Ellison is good. Nolan Ellison, senior from Kansas City. And Missouri calls timeout. The last basket made it 12 to nine. The score here at Brewer Fieldhouse. Kansas 12, Missouri nine. Here's Cliff Hagen, St. Louis Hawks All-Pro, demonstrating his famous hook shot for teenager Bob Anderson. Now it's the pupil's turn. And he sinks it. That's the way to sink him, Bob. Say, are you still using that greasy kid stuff on your hair? Sure, need to. Vitalis, that's what you need. Keeps your hair neat all day without grease. Tell you what, you use your greasy stuff and I'll use Vitalis. And rub it in good. Now let's comb it. Now let's compare combs. Look at the grease on your comb, but not with Vitalis. Vitalis never feels messy, won't stain the way greasy creams and oils do. Come on, Bob, get that greasy stuff out of your hair. And then try Vitalis. That's better. Now your hair looks great. Vitalis fights embarrassing dandruff, prevents dryness, keeps your hair neat all day without grease. We're at Columbia, Missouri, where Kansas leads by the score of 12 to 9. The Missouri Tigers had called timeout. They get the ball and play it back in. The number one and two scorers in the Big 8 Conference are in action here this afternoon. Charlie Hink of Missouri and Wayne Hightower of the Jayhawks from Kansas. Missouri on the tack, trailing by three. Scott with the ball. To Ken Dowdy. To the side to Garrett, trying to drive on Bridges. In and out. Coming out with the ball was Ronnie Cox. Back out to Doughty, trying to set it up. Shoots from outside. Doughty, good. Makes it 12 to 11. Kansas still by one. Kansas gets that ball in front in a hurry, don't they? Jerry Gardner out to Correll, out to the side to Hightower. Gets around the sophomore Garrett, blows the shot. The scramble for it. Scott has it. All the way. Joe Scott puts Missouri ahead for the first time in the game. This ball, timeout as the ball goes out of bounds. The ball belongs to Missouri. Joe Scott made the last basket on that drive. Starting at midcourt, went all the way. Missouri leads 13 to 12. 12.43 left in the first half. Kansas waiting for Missouri to come into the front court. Joe Scott, 6-4, holding the ball. On the sideline to Garrett. Dowdy from the corner trying to get in. The lane is plugged up, passes back out to Howard Garrett. This is Hank with the ball, back to Dowdy. Moving the ball to Cox on the side, taken away by Correll. And Kansas has the ball. They're down by one point, 13 to 12. Wayne Hightower passes to Correll. Correll wanted the foul, and he got it. 
Honey Cox commits his second foul. The last time these two clubs met, Cox committed three early fouls, and that made quite a difference in the ball game. Shooting one is Alan Carell, six three and a half, a junior from Philadelphia. So Missouri still leaves 13 to 12. Try to hit the man underneath. Ellison driving a nice block by Dowdy, but he was out of bounds when he last touched the ball. A fine block on the attempted shot by Ellison. And it comes to Hightower trying to hit Bridges in the post. Really moving the ball in good fashion. Bridges has it, driving his corral off to Bridges. With a dandy touch, puts Kansas out in front again, 14 to 13, nine points for Bridges in the ball game. Nine of their 14 points for Kansas have been scored by Bridges. A foul. Joe Scott with a good feed to Roddy Cox, who was driving. And Alan Correll committed the foul. Parky Stalkup says he should get two. He only gets one. He misses that. Cleared out of there by Correll. Hightower brings it down. You don't very often see a fellow this big bringing it down. He made the basket. Man Saudi travel with the ball. Makes it 16 to 13 in favor of Kansas. Hightower went all the way. Dowdy with the ball. Off to Scott. He's fouled. Fouled by Ellison. That's his second. Ellison commits his second foul. And Joe Scott is at the free throw line shooting one. Sparky Stalkups thinks he should get two again. Only one. Makes it 16 to 14. Kansas by two. Ellison, who is very speedy, giving to Gardner, to Hightower. Bridges playing the post. Hightower cutting the ball, blocked, but recovered by the Jayhawks. This is Gardner with the ball in the corner in heavy traffic. Up to Correll. Ellison. Hightower from outside. Bridges can't rebound. It is rebounded. No good by Correll. He still has it. Makes it. Alan Corral really battling gives Kansas a four-point lead with 10.23 left in the half. 18 to 14 the score. Ronnie Cox with the ball. Gives to Scott. And a foul against Kansas. Ellison was trying to drive through that block. That's his third. That's three quick fouls on Nolan Ellison, who provides a lot of the speed that this Kansas club has. Close up of Joe Scott, the senior from Gainesville, Missouri. And the man who just fouled him walked into the picture. 18 to 15, the score. Three point lead for Kansas. Correll with the ball. Out to Gardner, lets it fly. Over the top of the backboard, out of bounds. Missouri's down by three, and they have the ball. Ten minutes left in the half. Scott from way out. That's the kid that scored 46 points against Nebraska his last time out. He now has six points in this game. He traveled with the ball. The traveling violation called against Kansas. Missouri trailing by a point has a chance to go ahead with this offensive thrust. Ken Dowdy brings it down. Gives to Garrett. Into Scott from the corner. He has eight points. That fella can really hit. He's only a junior, too. Well, that puts Missouri out in front for the second time in the ball game, 19 to 18. There's a foul against Missouri. Joe Scott committed the foul, and Nolan Ellison goes to the line. That's the first foul on Scott. Dee Ketchum is getting ready to come into the ball game, but. He's going to replace the man who's at the free throw line, so he can't enter the ball game as yet. This free throw could tie it up. It does. 19 to 19, the score. And Ellison, who just made the free throw, leaves the floor and into the ball game number three. Deep Ketchum, 5'11 and a half, the senior from from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. It's all tied, 19-19.
909 left in the half. Joe Scott on the dribble, guarded by Ketchum, who just came into the game. Out of bounds, a bad pass. This is Hightower, right in front of us here. And a drive. Moving the ball, trying to set it up. The score is tied, 19 all. That's Gardner. This is Hightower. Farrell with the ball to catch him on the side. He walked with the ball. Catch him traveled with it. So both clubs have made a few mistakes. And they're about evened out in the ball game so far. 8-17 left in the half. It's tied. Way out, Scott lets one fly. Out of bounds. Into the post to Bridges. Out to Gardner. Hightower, good with the rebound. Wayne Hightower put it back up there and puts Kansas out in front. 21 to 19. Kansas Jayhawks lead as the Tigers of Missouri bring it down. Ken Dowdy from the side. Rebounded by Garrett, stolen away. Gardner coming down in a hurry. He's outnumbered, slows it down. Hits Hightower with a hook. Wayne Hightower has made the last two buckets, and it's 23 to 19. Kansas by four. Six points for Hightower. Here's Dowdy getting around the screen. A foul against Gardner, trying to drive through that block. Bill Bridges complains to the referee. And the block was illegal, but nothing done. One shot coming up for Ronnie Cox, the junior from Columbia. Weighs 205, he's 6'4. They've missed a few down that end of the floor. Still a four point lead for Kansas. Ketchum going all the way, passing off nicely to Gardner, who dumps it in. A fine feed from Ketchum to Gardner. And this is the biggest lead of the ball game. Kansas by six. 25 to 19 with 7.05 left in the half. Ronnie Cox from outside. And it appears that Missouri is going to have to hit from outside, but they can do just that. Here's Bridges. No good. Hightower with three rebounds finally makes it. Hightower's made the last six for Kansas. 27 21, a six point lead. Hightower has gone on a splurge. Doughty trying to get in. This is the ball picked up by teammate Garrett to Hank. Hank got around Hightower. Hank has averaged 25 points a game and Hightower has averaged 21. Hightower has the ball stolen. And here's a two on one break with Scott passing off the basket beautifully done by Ronnie Cox. A fine fast break, a fine pass from Scott to Cox. And it's 27 25. Dowdy trying to steal. Foul. No, it's a carrying violation. Gardner was carrying the ball as he dribbled. Missouri gets it on the violation, and they have a chance to tie it up as they trail by two. Scott to the sideline to Garrett. Back out to Joe Scott. They can't get that ball in the post very often. This is Hank with the ball. Off to the side to Garrett. Underneath to Scott. And he was really held. Joe Scott was held by deep catcher. Now the one and one is in effect. And so if Joe Scott makes the first one, he'll get a bonus try. And if he makes both of them, he'll be able to tie it. 5.53 left in the half. Kansas by two, 27-25. Joe Scott firing one up. Oh, he missed the first, so he doesn't get the bonus. And brother, that really makes a difference in basketball these days. Gardner with the ball, giving off to catch him. Bridge is playing the pivot. Jump ball. Good defensive play by Ronnie Cox. Missouri has played uh, rather good defense so far in this contest, I would say. Corral jumping against Cox. Dowdy comes up with it for the Tigers. Let it fly. Ketchum rebounds for the Jayhawks. Passes to the side, and then knocks, Dowdy knocks the ball out of bounds. Referee is warning Dowdy about hitting the ball. Two-point lead for Kansas as they bring the ball in. 
catch him with the ball. Trying to hit the post. Hightower is there. Trying to set it up. Hightower comes out as a high post now. Bridge is being held pretty well in check by Charlie Hank. 505 left in the half. Kansas by two. Correll with the ball. He's trying to shake somebody loose. Bridges outside. Hightower from way out. No good. And a Missouri rebound. Cox in a hurry. And a foul against Kansas and Gardner. And the one and one is in effect. That's the second foul on Gardner in the ball game. And Ronnie Cox will be at the free throw line. Well, the low scoring ball game, but you get the feeling that because of the manner in which both teams are running, it'll be a wide open and freewheeling second half. 448 left in the half of the ball game. We have some fine entertainment for you at halftime, by the way, but of more importance right now is this ball game, of course, and these free throws by Cox, which could tie it up. Boy, they've missed much too many to suit Sparky Stoke up, the Missouri coach. Catch him a clever dribble passes off to Gardner. The foul against Missouri. Joe Scott committed the foul. Gardner was very aggressive on that one, wasn't he? He went driving in there. He knew he had the angle, so he didn't stop. Jerry Gardner, a junior from Wichita. Shooting two. His free throws seem to be the difference, and I'm sure when we get the halftime statistics, that'll be borne out. 28-25, Kansas. 440 left in the half. 29-25, a four-point lead. Kansas at one time had an eight-point lead. Dowdy to Garrett. Another foul against Kansas. Bridges. That's his second. Two fouls on Bridges. Garrett shooting one and one. Missouri has missed a possible four points in the last few moments down there from the missed free throws. Garrett makes the first one. Now they get the bonus. 29-26. It's the first point for Garrett in the ball game. Garrett from Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Two-point lead for Kansas, 29-27. Four and a half minutes left in the half. Wayne Hightower on the dribble. Gardner to Bridges at a high post. Turnaround shot. Hightower tried to ram it home, but couldn't. And Scott took it away from him. Joe Scott behind the back to Hank. His shot. Short, no good. Garrett shoots. Way off the beam. Kansas gets it. Four minutes left in the half. Kansas by two. To the side, into the post to Bridges. Turnaround shot, Bridges. High tower rebounds. Jump ball. Dowdy jumping against Bridges. Watch how high this Bridges gets up. Right to Missouri, however. He tapped the ball, but Missouri comes up with it, and they have a chance to tie it. Ken Dowdy with the ball. They leave him alone. He gives to Hank, who hooks. And ties at 29 all. Nine points for Charlie Hank. A beautiful touch on that soft hook shot of his. Here's Bridges with the ball. Giving out to Corral. Hightower from outside. No good. Ken Dowdy, a little guy, went up to get the rebound. Dowdy is an even six feet, but he went very high to get that one. Joe Scott. Garrett tried to rebound, but Kansas gets it. It's tied 29 all. 3-10 left in the half. There's a foul against Kansas. A foul by Gardner, his third. And so two of the five Kansas starters each have three fouls. Timeout called by Kansas. The score here at Brewer Field House is Kansas 29, Missouri 29. Morning, noon, or night, there's always plenty of exciting entertainment on ABC TV. Be on hand for real-life drama when Morning Court convenes Monday at 11 a.m. A woman pleads for a petition forbidding her ex-husband from taking their son to Europe. 
Watch Morning Court every weekday at 11 on most of these stations. Discover daytime on ABC. Well, the sports coverage of ABC continues. I know you had a very enjoyable college football season watching the games on ABC. The American Football League games that we were fortunate to be able to do. The Saturday night fights have been exciting. Bowling and bridge. That's a sport, isn't it? All on ABC. A lot of noise, a lot of enthusiasm as the Tigers of Missouri and the Jayhawks of Kansas are knotted up, 29 all. Play is resumed. They have a free throw coming up. Howard Garrett shooting one and one. He has two points in the ball game, both on free throws. 3-0-8 remaining in the half. Into the ball game is Nolan Ellison. He has three fouls, but he's back in the ball game. And Gardner, who has three fouls, leaves. Missouri's out in front by one, 30 to 29. Now the ball's in play as Garrett will toss it up there again. So Garrett was hit four from the free throw line, and it's a two point lead for Missouri. Three minutes left in the half. Catch him on the dribble into the corner. Looking for help. Gets it from Ellison. He can fly. Gardner across court to catch him. Who shoots? The catch him got the urge and let it go and ties it up. 31 all. The catch him with the basket. Ken Dowdy from Missouri trying to penetrate as far as he can before giving off to Garrett. Garrett fakes and shoots. So Garrett has had six points here late in the first half. And the seesaw ball game now belongs to Missouri by two, 31-33. Ellison to catch him. We've got some speed on this Kansas team. Bridges back to catch him. Catch him trying to get around Doughty. Shoots. No good. Rebounded by Garrett. Garrett has been an important factor here. Two minutes left in the half. Underneath to Hank. A fine block. We'll see what the call is. Out of bounds, and it belongs to Missouri. Sparky Stalkup, the coach of the Tigers, was off the bench for the third time this game. Pass comes inbounds to Ronnie Cox into the post to Hank. He can hook. He does. 35 to 31. Hank is 6-7. This is the biggest Missouri lead of the ball game. Ellison giving to Corral to catch him. The bridge is away from the basket. Hank's done a good job underneath. The shot is no good by Corral. Hey, none of that, fellas. The foul is on Garrett. And he and Hightower started to go at it. You know, there's... There's a little background between these two clubs carried over from the football season when Kansas had a forfeit a game to Missouri. And they had a pretty rough game when they met before at Kansas. Hightower misses. Four point lead for Missouri. 125 left in the half. The ball's in play as Hightower shoots. Good. Three point lead for the Tigers. Dowdy brings the ball down to Garrett, to Hank, left-handed hook. Hank has 13 points, and as he has demonstrated, he can hook with either hand. It's a five-point lead for Missouri, their biggest lead of the ball game, 37-32, with 102 left in the half. Ketchum trying to hit Hightower, he does. Hightower double team gives back to Ketchum, who shoots. Bridges rebounds. Turns around and fires. Hightower taps it in. Wayne Hightower tapped it in. And took a swing at Joe Scott. Three-point lead for Missouri. Underneath it goes to Charlie Hank, his jump shot. Oh, he can shoot that ball. High-point lead for Missouri with 32 seconds left in the half. 
Missouri trying to steal. Ellison from the foul line. No good. It is good. Hit the front of the rim and dropped in. Three point lead now. And we have 21 seconds. They're going to play for one shot. 18, 17, 16, 15 seconds left in the half. Dowdy with the ball. To Cox, to Scott. 10 seconds left in the half. Playing for one shot. Trying to hit the post. They do. Hank underneath the basket. Comes out and shoots. Score! They're not going to be able to get the ball in. There's the end of the half. There's a little action on the floor. A little ill feeling between these two clubs. The end of the first half of today's game. The score is Missouri 41, Kansas 36. Look at him put that cow pony through its paces. If you ride, you know that wonderful feeling. The way the horse responds to your command. Every muscle gets into play. It takes stamina. These men tell me they go for today's big crisp Wheaties at their first and second breakfast. They need real energy food. And everybody knows you can't beat the special goodness of whole wheat flakes. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. They've got natural protein, vitamins, minerals, and there's a kernel full of wheat in every Wheaties flake. The real thing. Mmm, you're like me. You'll never get tired of that toasted whole wheat goodness of Wheaties, one of the Big G cereals from General Mills. We're back here at Brewer Fieldhouse on the campus of the University of Missouri. We'll identify this young lady in just a moment. The music in the background is by the Marching Mizzou. Charles L. Emmons, the director, Richard Hill's assistant director, and Frank Cipolla, the assistant. The young lady is Janet Young from Parma, Missouri. Very pretty and talented young gal. Let's watch and listen. entertainment coming up for you and 20 more minutes of basketball remaining so hope you've enjoyed the action so far and a fine hand for the young lady I'll tell you how the scoring went in the first half for the Missouri club which leads 41 to 36 Ron Cox had six points Howard Garrett had the same six eight points for Joe Scott Ken Dowdy has scored four only five minutes have been used by Sparky Stalk up. And Charlie Hank, H E N K E, has scored 17 points. And he got a flurry of them at the close of the first half, as you saw. He's the leading scorer in the ballgame, of course. 
Everybody on both clubs has scored, by the way. Wayne Hightower has 12. He's the leader for the Jayhawks. Al Correll has two. Bill Bridges has nine points. Nolan Ellison has five. Ketchum has two. And Jerry Gardner has six. 41-36, Missouri by five here at halftime. We're going to have more halftime entertainment here at Brewer Fieldhouse in Columbia, Missouri in just a moment. This is one of our family hobbies, home movies. And here's some footage we shot recently. Around before breakfast, you're never too old to start the fitness habit. Uh-oh, but he'll make it. There's a lot of talk about muscles at this age. Ever notice how youngsters admire fitness? And being fit includes eating well. Here we are starting with a good set em up breakfast. And there's our favorite, today's Wheaties, milk and fruit. Something to get your teeth into. The special goodness of whole wheat, toasted crisp. And you know anyone who's on the go more than a youngster? Serve your family a real energy breakfast. Give them all a chance to snap up with today's Wheaties, one of the big G cereals from General Mills. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. A look at the Missouri crowd here at the Brewer Field House in Columbia, Missouri. The Tigers lead the Jayhawks of Kansas 41 to 36 at halftime. You met the marching Mizzou and the baton twirler, Miss Janet Young. And now we're about to show you some further entertainment. We're not talking about this young lady, but that'll do for a while. Let's go across the way and meet the university singers here from the University of Missouri. Tom Mills is the director. Judy Coons, the accompanist. And this group is noted for its versatility. They've sung with Kansas City and St. Louis symphonies, several on-campus programs each year, and they make a good many high school tours. Let's listen to the university singers. met the university singers with I've Got Rhythm. Another number, a spiritual, Now Let Me Fly. Thank you. 
great throw by the University Center. We're looking at a beatnik right here. And now Bob Richards has the story on the man who won America's most important victory in last year's Olympics under terrific pressure. Hi there. I guess almost everyone knows California has produced some of our greatest champions. Helen Wills, Charlie Paddock, Pancho Gonzalez, and one of the finest I've ever known, Rafer Johnson. The Johnsons come from a small farming community in Kingsburg, and it was there that I met this handsome young man. It's my privilege to be invited to address school groups all around the country, explaining how it takes more than muscle to become a successful athlete. It takes inspiration, that power to see ourselves not as we are, but as we can be. Well, after the assembly at the Kingsburg High School, I was working out with some of the students on their athletic field. One in particular took my eye. And I told Rafer Johnson he had the makings of a great decathlon man. He nodded quite soberly and said, Mr. Richards, that's what I'm going to be, a great decathlon man. Well, he must have meant it because nine months later, when he was a UCLA freshman, he beat me in that event. And three months after that, he broke the record that experts said couldn't be broken. Bob Mathias' world record in the decathlon. Rayford not only excelled in sports, but academically as well. He was voted president of the student body, and in 1959, Sports Illustrated voted him their Sportsman of the Year. But the thing I like to remember best about him took place in Moscow in 1958. Competing against the Russians in a dual meet, naturally we had sent our finest athletes. Rayford's competition in the decathlon was a terrific performer Vasily Kuznetsov. Rafer knew he might be beaten, and he knew that he would have to do better than he ever had before. He started with the first event, the 100-meter dash. Rocketing out of the starting blocks, his six feet, four-inch frame almost flying down the cinders, he broke the tape, the winner. Then in the broad jump, a mighty leap, but Kuznetsov was close, and the Russians' best events were yet to come. Rafer dug in and tossed the shot just narrowly clinging to his wavering lead. Then in the high jump, Rafer jumped six feet, but Kuznetsov gained by clearing six feet, three inches. Rafer seemed to walk away with the hurdles, but the Russian forged ahead with a 224-foot javelin toss. It was Ray's last throw, and he prayed as he started his run. He planted his feet, snapped, and that javelin soared like an American eagle up and out over the flag, marking the Russian's best. 14 feet past Kuznetsov mark, for 238 feet, a new world's decathlon record. Yes, Rafer Johnson proved then, as always, that he has the power within him to meet a challenge. Not later, not tomorrow, but now, when the challenge is made. Maybe that's what we all need today. A national response now to help us win more victories in the name of freedom. It's time for our stations to identify themselves. We pause now for station identification. Everybody's rushing home to enjoy ABC Daytime. Don't you miss Camouflage, weekdays at noon. Discover Daytime on ABC. here at Columbia, Missouri. Missouri leads Kansas 41 to 36. The second half is going to start with a technical foul. We'll tell you about that after a while. In just a moment, the second half of this game between Kansas and Missouri will get underway. You know, in basketball, as in most sports, it's team competition that provides the thrills and excitement. A number, please, ABC's newest daytime show, Keen competition between contestants adds up to fun and surprises. You at home can play right along. Match wits with studio contestants who try to guess the secret phrases that spell out the fabulous prizes they can win. Join Bud Collier for Number Please, Monday at 12.30 
on most of these stations and Discover Daytime on ABC. In the background, audibly and on your screen, marching the zoo. Meanwhile, the Kansas team is coming back on the floor. In just a moment, the Tigers will be returning and will be set for 20 more minutes of basketball. There's a crowd waiting to welcome the Tigers back on the court here at Brewer Fieldhouse in Columbia. Here they come. Director Arthur Dutch Lonberg, basketball coach Dick Harp, and the athletic publicity director Don Pierce. All have been a great deal of help to get this Saturday telecast underway. Now listen, Missouri is leading 41 to 36. The second half is going to start with a technical foul being taken by Kansas as a result of the call just as the first half had ended. They also wanted to call a personal foul on Joe Scott of Missouri, but because time had run out, the horn had sounded, a personal foul could not be assessed. But the technical foul was called, and that's the way the ball game will start in the second half. Kansas will get a technical and then get the ball out of bounds at midcourt. Certainly a very definite advantage, and one that they need because they're behind by five. Hank, Dowdy, Cox, Scott, and Garrett, the same starting five for Missouri. They line up at center court. And now Gardner, now Gardner is going to take the technical. There he is, there's Gardner. And he makes it. And makes it 41 to 37. And now Kansas will get the ball out of bounds. Well, this announcement is made, and listen to the boos. Okay, now and listen to the boos. Okay, now Kansas gets it in, and they're four points behind. They throw the ball away. Well, that about evens things up if Missouri can do something as they bring the ball down. Ken Dowdy is number 44. Trying to drive all the way. Almost loses the ball. Shoots. And it's a Kansas rebound. A couple of the Kansas players have three fouls. This is one of them with the ball. Nolan Ellison gives the ball to Correll. Behind the screen, his shot. No good. And it was Carell getting the ball back after it had bounced around. And Missouri's five-point lead has dwindled to only two. Here's Joe Scott with the ball. Hightower rebounds, and there's a foul against Missouri. Charlie Hink committed the foul. That's his second. Hink is the leading scorer in this ball game. Has 17 points. 
Last time these two clubs met, Hank scored 25 and Scott scored 23 for Missouri. Scott now has eight. And Hightower got 36 against Missouri. And Hightower in the ball game has 12 and he missed that free throw. Ken Dowdy bringing the ball down. Gives to Garrett. Garrett faked his man out but couldn't hit it. Hightower is all arms and legs when he goes up after that ball. You better get out of his way. Gardner to Clarell. Back to Gardner from the corner. Short. And the ball belongs to Missouri. Missouri leading by two, 41 to 39. They lost to Kansas. First time these two clubs met. Scott goes all the way but blew the layup. He tried to shoot over Hightower and missed the shot. Here's Gardner. He walked. Gardner walked with the ball. And Kansas has lost the ball a couple of times here in the early moments of the second half. Missouri by two. Into the post it goes to Hank. He got around his man. He scores. And he was fouled by Hightower. Hightower commits the foul. It's only his first in the ball game. Hank now has 19 points. Shooting for 20 right here. Missouri leading by four. Trying to get back the five point advantage they had at the half. Eighteen oh five left in the ball game. Missouri by five, 44 39. Here's Ellison. This is Bridges. Ellison trying to get around his man from the corner. Tough luck on that one. Bridges. He blew it. Now Missouri has it. Ken Dowdy has the ball stolen away and a foul. Foul committed by Missouri, Ron Cox. That's his third. And I think we're about to see the first substitution for Missouri in the ball game. You often see that, don't you, when a team loses the ball, they commit a foul trying to get it back. Happens so very often. This is Jerry Gardner at the line. He's evidently their best free throw shooter. He took that technical. He makes this one 44 to 40. 17 and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. Shot by Garrett. That must be his favorite spot on the floor. He has eight points. Carell shoots. Hightower rebounds, tie it up. And once again, a couple of the boys start to go at it. Time is called as the official comes to the table. We'll see what the call is. The double foul. Double foul. And a jump ball. Hightower is charged with a foul. Hightower is charged with one of them, and Cox is charged with his fourth. So a jump ball now. Belongs to Kansas. Missouri leading by six. Crowd thought he went over the middle line. Here's a shot from outside by Carell. Garrett gets the rebound. 16.50 left in the game. There's a whistle. In the lane, too long. Three second violation. Missouri loses it. Gardner goes into the front court. Shot by Bridges. And Joe Scott comes up with the ball. Missouri leading by six. Scott. Let's see. Foul against Kansas. Foul by Ellison, and that's his fourth. Four fouls on Ellison. Roddy Cox goes out, gets a nice hand. Into the ball game is Walter Grebbing, G-R-E-B-I-N-G. Grebbing, 6'5", a junior from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Bill Scott at the line has eight points. 
Bridges gets the rebound on the missed free throw. 16 20 left in the game. Missouri leading by six. Ellison shoots. Gets the ball back and scores. Very aggressive play by Nolan Ellison, the sophomore from Kansas City. He's going to be around for a while, make a name for himself. Four point lead for Missouri. Dowdy from way out. No good. Right into the hands of Hightower. Dowdy tried to steal. Ball over to Correll. A whistle and a foul against Grebbing, who just came into the game. Corral is at the free throw line, shooting one. A lot of missed free throws in this ball game. Charlie Hank leads the boards. Here's Dowdy behind the screen. Ken Dowdy now has six points, and that's the margin by which Missouri leads, 48 to 42. 15 and a half minutes left in the game. High post, high tower underneath the bridges. Ball stolen away. Ball was swiped by Howard Garrett. Here's Joe Scott. Still on the dribble. Out to Garrett. Hankey rebounds. Grieving rebounds. Bridges clears it away. Here's a two-on-one break. Allison stops, gives to Hightower. And Hightower is fouled. Fouled by Garrett. That's Garrett's third. Let's see. Cox has four. Garrett has three. Hank has two. And Scott has two. High tower shooting one. Missouri leading by six. Shooting two, rather. That's Sparky Stalkup, the Missouri coach, with a face in his hand. Hightower missed them both. Hightower steals the ball and blows the layup. Then he gets it back and scores, and they're really swinging it. We've got a wild one on our hands. Kansas and Missouri, and brother, they are really slugging in there. Players are pairing off, and there's a wild scramble down on the other end of the court. And now the spectators are coming out, and this is really getting to be something. They're piled up. They're trying to get the band to play. Here's our national anthem, and let's see what it does to the crowd. Both officials have come away from that crowd because they just can't do anything about it. The band started to play, and then they stopped, and the people, spectators and players alike, are stacked up about 10 deep over in the corner, and finally, and fortunately, cooler heads prevail, but there's going to be more than one shiner come out of that crowd. We mentioned it before. This is a carryover from the football season. There was some bad blood between the two ball clubs when they met earlier on the home court of Kansas. And so you're waiting for something to happen, hoping at the same time that it would not happen, but it finally did. And it wasn't one particular player. There's the Kansas bench. And the athletic director of Kansas, Dutch Lomberg. There's Dick Park, the coach, talking to the officials. Sparky Stalkup is now uh, in the discussion. I'm going to tell you there were some punches being thrown in there. There wasn't any song and dance that was going on because I saw a few guys get popped. It's terrible that something like that happens, of course. There's Don Perot, the athletic director of Missouri, over at the Kansas bench trying to see what he can do. Perot is talking to uh, somebody outside the fence over there, as you see, trying to see what he can do about settling things down. Now quite a few objects have been thrown on the floor, including some soft drinks and ice and so forth, and that's going to have to be cleaned up before we're able to resume. Stalk up in the officials talking it up. There's one of the Kansas players. I wonder if there are any aches and pains over there. That's Bridges, and 
He didn't hesitate. He was really in the middle of it. He didn't start it. I'll say that for Bridges. He didn't start any of this from what I saw. But once it started, he didn't stay out of it. He was right in the middle of it. Well, this is our Saturday afternoon fight of the week. Tonight's fight of the week is from Syracuse. <laughs> and I hope our old buddy, the old pro Carmen Basilio, can put on a, as good a show as these fellas did this afternoon. It's Carmen Basilio going against Don Jordan in a 10-round battle of middleweights. That's the fight of the week tonight at 10 o'clock over most of these ABC stations. So we've got a fight doubleheader for you. 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I think the officials might have thrown somebody. The basket by Hightower was good, making a 48 to 42. And two players have been thrown out. Hightower and and Hank of Missouri. Hightower and Hank have been thrown out of the game. I'm not going to try to pass any judgment as to who is the culprit. I would like to say, though, I didn't see Hank doing anything in there. There was a Missouri boy much more in it, it appeared to me, than was Hank. But Hightower and Hank are both out of the ballgame with 14.49 remaining. Missouri leading 48-42. Let's see now. Into the ballgame is Jim Dumas, number 14 for Kansas. And the rest of the lineup remains the same. The players are chatting amiably now. <laughs> Boy, that Bridges was really firing some right hands in there. And the, when the spectators came out of the stands, that's when it really got bad. And they were stacked up over there, and I'm surprised that it ended as quickly as it did. That's Bridges talking to the official. He's going to take the free throw for Hightower. The basket counted. This is Dumas shooting. His replacement shoots the free throw and makes it. Well, I don't know what this is all about. Unless the basket did. Yeah, the basket did count. Then the one free throw makes it 45. Missouri needs, uh, is going to make a substitution. In the ball game comes Mike Hunter, a sophomore from Alton, Illinois. 6'1", 180 pounds. And Hunter reports to shoot the free throws, evidently. These are technicals that are being assessed. Hunter shooting the free throw. Makes the first one. Pretty tough to come right off the bench and fire it up there. Hunter's next one. No good. So they each made one and missed one. Now Hunter goes back to the bench. That's a good day's work. Now we're ready to resume with 14.49 remaining in the game and Missouri leading Kansas 49 to 45. Garrett and Bridges will be jumping at midcourt. We're all set to go. Missouri by four in a ball game that was rated pretty much a toss up when it started. Ball belongs to Kansas. Dumas, who has just come into the game, has the ball. Into the post to Bridges. Fakes one way, goes the other. Misses the shot. There's a foul. A foul against Farrell. That's his second. He fouled Garrett. Ronnie Cox said something to uh, the Kansas boy. Ronnie Cox is number 40 from Missouri. He was uh, trying to indicate that there was no ill feeling prevailing. So here is Garrett shooting one. He has eight points in the ball game. Five point lead for Missouri, 50 to 45. Well, maybe they'll settle down to play some basketball now. Gardner with the ball into Bridges at the post, and he is fouled. That's a charging foul. A 
charging foul on Bridges, and that's his third. He's a big one, isn't he? Bridges commits his third foul. And going to the free throw line is Ronnie Cox, number 40. There's Cox, 6'4", junior from Columbia, who has six points in the game so far. Five-point lead for Missouri. Missouri by six. Kansas and Missouri really going at it. Correll with the ball. He's fouled. Correll is fouled by Garrett. These officials, I bet, are going to be calling them quite closely now. Shooting one and one. Alan Correll at the free throw line. He makes the first, he'll get the second. And a chance to bite into that six point Missouri lead. Ball is cleared off by Grieving, Walter Grieving. This is Ken Dowdy with the ball. Nobody playing the post at the moment. Joe Scott has it. It's out of trouble. In the post is Garrett right now. The shot by Dowdy. Dowdy made the basket. He has eight points. Missouri leads by eight. The ball goes out of bounds. Belongs to Missouri. They try to get it into Bridges. He couldn't latch onto it. Garrett playing the high post. Hank is out. Hightower has been out of the game, too. Shot was partially blocked. Rebound. Good. Cox. Ronnie Cox rebounded. The 10 point lead for Missouri. 10 point lead for Missouri. Jump ball. Downey tied up Ellison in a jump ball. And the fans really love it here. Timeout is called by Kansas. And the score here at Brewer Fieldhouse is Missouri 55, Kansas 45. And there's no doubt about it. These boys here are fast on their feet. And they can punch. And let me tell you about another boy who's fast on his feet, though in a somewhat different way. He's Johnny Carson. One of the sharpest, fastest, funniest ad-living comedians operating on television today. Well, actually, he's not operating today, but he does operate in real style every Monday through Friday on the comedy quiz show, Who Do You Trust? Watch a real win at work, Johnny Carson, on Who Do You Trust? Weekdays at 3.30 on most of these stations. Discover daytime on ABC. play with a jump ball and Kansas knocked the ball out of bounds and Missouri has it. Ketchum's back in the ball game for Kansas. The ball is into the post. The shot is no good by Scott and cleared off there by Correll. Correll to Ellison. Ellison to Ketchum. Bridges playing the post for the Jayhawks. Dumas is also in there for Kansas. Here's Bridges from outside. Tough luck on the shot. Grieving cleared the boards. Joe Scott brings it down in a hurry. Passes off nicely to Cox. A fine play from Scott to Cox. It's a 12 point lead for Missouri. Allison with the ball, giving off to Dumas. A whistle and a foul is called against Missouri. Grieving committed the foul. That's his second, and at the free throw line is Jim Dumas, 6'1", sophomore from Topeka. We have 12 and a half minutes remaining in the game. Missouri is leading by 12 points. Two shots coming up for Dumas. It's an 11-point lead at the moment. For the Missouri Tigers, now the ball's in play. 57-46. 10-point lead, 57-47. 
Nadia Scott bring the ball down. A crowd of 3,500 watching this game at Brewer Field House in Columbia. Hope you're enjoying it. Joe Scott has the ball. Garrett fakes, drives around, jumps and shoots, no good. Bridges rebounds. Breathing gets the ball back. Breathing to Scott. Scott shoots, partially blocked. Garrett gets it, gives to Scott. He's tied up and it's a foul. There's the Kansas bench, and the fellow with the jacket around his shoulders is Wayne Hightower. That's five fouls on Nolan Ellison. Ellison is fouled out of the game. His coach, Dick Hart, says, nice ball game nonetheless. While he was in there, he scored seven points. And a one and one is coming up with Joe Scott at the free throw line. And Missouri leading by 10. That's Joe Scott. He does not get the bonus. He gets the ball back. He jumps and the shot is blocked. Goes out of bounds. Belongs to Missouri. A fine defensive play by Kansas. Doughty will throw the ball inbounds. In it comes to Scott. Closely guarded by Ketchum. He passes out to Garrett. To Doughty. Into the post to Cox. He's fouled by Bridges. Bridges commits the foul. That's his fourth. Well, they've lost one man on fouls. Bridges has four, and Hightower is out of the game. But remember, too, that Charlie Hink, leading scorer for Missouri, is also out of the game. Cox has 11 points, and he's at the free throw line. Shooting one and one. Fifty-eight forty-seven, Missouri by eleven with eleven forty-five left in the game. Missouri by twelve. And there's Hightower wishing that he were in the game. Gardner dribbles behind the back and shoots. Tough luck on that one. A scramble for it. Dumas gets it. Passes back out to Gardner. And Jerry on the dribble trying to get around Scott. Gives in the corner to Correll. Underneath. No basket. There's a foul against Missouri. Dowdy committed the foul and Bridges will go to the free throw line. The clock isn't moving around very quickly as a result of the numerous fouls. 11-24 left in the game. Bridges is shooting two. He has nine points. Ten. Bill Bridges, a senior from Hobbs, New Mexico. 6'5", 225. Misses this one, and Grieving gets the ball for Missouri. An 11-point lead for the Tigers over the Jayhawks. Dowdy with the ball. Knocked out of bounds. Who does it belong to? Missouri. Gardner gave it a little uh, Shakespearean that time, trying to coerce the referee. Inbounds to Garrett. Trying to drive around his man in heavy traffic. To Cox. To Scott. To Grieving. Into the post to Garrett. Drives. Garrett has taken over the post now that Hick is out of there. He has 11 points. 13-point lead for Missouri. This is Dumas with the ball for Kansas to Gardner. Off the foot of a Missouri player. 10.38 left in the game. Into the post to Bridges. They got it into him and he scored. 61 to 50. Missouri by 11. Doughty into Grieving who's playing the post. A give to Scott down the middle. Tough luck. Cox tries to rebound. A battle for it. Belongs to Kansas. Down court in a hurry to Correll. His shot. No good. Scott gets the rebound. Comes down court. Still on the dribble. Whistle. He's fouled by Ketchum of Kansas. Well, there have been some great basketball names in Kansas history, like Will Chamberlain and Clyde LaBellette. 
Missouri, of course, is the alma mater of Paul Christman, whom you heard on NCAA football. Paul's an America, all-American football player here. One of the greatest of all time. Also plays guitar on the side. Shot by Scott Good again, 63 to 50. 13 point lead for Missouri. Gardner on the dribble, guarded by Scott. Gardner lets it fly off the beam to the right. 9.35 left in the game. Missouri by 13. Joe Scott on the dribble. To Dowdy trying to hit the post. He does. Garrett dribbles once. Travel with the ball. He was tripped, but it was unintentional. It was Garrett's own fault. 9.20 left in the game. Kansas has to get hot. Gardner into the corner to Dumas, who drives. Passes out to Gardner. Fakes. He drives behind Bridges. He shoots and scores. Gardner was using Big Bill Bridges for a screen. And Gardner has 10 points. An 11 point lead for Missouri, 63 to 52. Nine minutes left in the game. Here's Garrett, well away from the basket. Trying to drive in there. The ball was blocked. The fans thought goaltending should be called. There's a foul against Missouri. Correll went up and blocked the shot. Cox has fouled out of the game. That's number 40. He's out of the game. Timeout Missouri. And the score here at Brewer Fieldhouse is Missouri 63, Kansas 52. Vitalis makes a guy look smooth. Ooh. Not slick. Yeah. With B7 Greaseless Grooming Discovery, one look and girls are lovey doverly Vitalis makes a guy look smooth, Ooh. not slick. Yeah. Get Vitalis quick! This man uses Vitalis, keeps his hair neat without grease. This man uses a greasy cream, slick with fats and oils. Now comb. Now let's compare combs. No grease with Vitalis, but you can see and even feel the greasy creams. Get Vitalis quick. Fights embarrassing dandruff, prevents dryness, keeps hair neat all day without grease. Vitalis makes a guy look smooth. Ooh. Not slick. Yeah. Get Vitalis quick. We're back here at Brewer Fieldhouse, Columbia, Missouri. Corral will go to the free throw line for Kansas when play is resumed. We have 848 remaining in this game. And Missouri leads 63 to 52. Lyle Houston, number 45, is in the game for Missouri. Houston, 6'5, a sophomore from Grandview, Missouri. This is Corral at the line, shooting one and one. He has four points. And now has five. Ball will be in play here. Ten point lead for Missouri. Missouri led by five at the half, 41 to 36. Terrell dunks another. Ken Dowdy on the dribble. Gardner, who is very fast, is following him. Into the post. Garrett. There's a foul by Lyle Houston, who just came into the ball game, number 45 from Missouri. The last basket was by Garrett, who's done a fine job in the post since taking over for Charlie Hink, who's out of the game. Dumas shooting the free throw. No good. And Houston, who committed the foul, goes up and gets the ball. Comes Scott with it for the Tigers. Around the screen, jumps and shoots, no good. A battle for it. Picked off by Doughty, saves it over to Scott with a fine play. Scott driving, he's in heavy traffic. Shoots, he walked with the ball. Scott walked with the ball, no basket. So it's still 65-54. The ball is saved by Missouri. Here comes Garrett on the dribble, slowing it down now. 
Cross to Grieving to Scott. He shoots. Twelve points for Scott. Thirteen point lead for Missouri. With 7.45 left in the game. Missouri by 13. Dumas to Gardner. His shot. Bridges rebounds. Almost lost it. Shoots. Bridges. Houston gets a second rebound. Here comes Missouri this way. 7.20 left in the game. Missouri by 13. Scott shoots. Dumas gets the rebound. He went high in the air. He almost walked with the ball. Gets it over to Correll to catch him. D catch him from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Dumas shoots. Jim Dumas makes it 67 56. Missouri by 11 over Kansas. Here's Grieving to Houston. Out to Garrett. His shot. Oh. Foul. Fouls against Missouri. Grieving commits the foul. That's his third. The score at halftime was 41-36 Missouri after Kansas had led in the early stages of the ball game. Now Missouri has an 11-point margin, which can be cut down by a couple on the one and one. As Correll gets ready to shoot. First one's good. Into the ball game comes Butch Ellison. Unless he uh, switched uniforms with his brother, they look so much alike. Maybe they're putting the guy back in who fouled out a while ago. Dumas comes out, and Butch Ellison, 6'1", a senior from Kansas City, is in the game. He's number 15. Another free throw by Correll. Cuts the Missouri lead to nine points. This could get a bit more interesting. Which is not to say that it has not been interesting. 6.40 left in the game. Grieving with the ball. Into Houston. Houston out to Dowdy. His long shot. Grieving rebounds. Gives to Scott. Missouri leading by nine, and they have the ball. Houston to Garrett to Doughty. Gets a step on his man, drives, shoots. No good. Bridges clears the boards. The ball stolen by Garrett. Garrett fakes, now shoots. No good. Bridges gets the ball. Down court in a hurry to Correll. From the corner. Passes back out to Ellison. Into the post to Bridges. Hook shot. No good. Garrett with the rebound. Missouri has it again. Kansas can't get those big baskets. Missouri calls timeout with 5.48 remaining. And the score here at Brewer Fieldhouse is Missouri 67, Kansas 58. <laughs> Alexander. What's the most interesting thing about people? Their faces, of course. And that's what our show is all about. About Faces. About Faces is a show filled with heart and humor, with drama and suspense, with the unexpected and the unusual, and above all, entertainment. You'll see faces from here, there, and everywhere. Maybe even your face. Each weekday, new surprises will come your way. Fascinating faces from the past, familiar faces from the present, and the faces of famous guests. It's the show with the built-in surprises in which we put our best face forward. So I hope you'll be watching About Faces every weekday on ABC TV. Victor Jory is celebrity guest Monday at 1 over most of these stations. Missouri's ball as we resume with 5.45 remaining in the game and Missouri leading by 9, 67-58. That's Garrett with the ball. Missouri called timeout. Evidently they're going to try to run the clock a little bit. Working the weaves now, working behind the screen. Houston with the ball. Houston to Scott trying to shake somebody loose. Dowdy with the ball. We'll see if Missouri's going to sit on this nine-point lead or are they setting something up. Houston with it. Almost lost it. Dowdy has it. Goes in. Shoots. And Kansas gets the ball. Out of bounds. 
Cordell got the ball, but dribbled down the line. 5.05. Five minutes remaining in the game. Here's Scott from the corner. Passing out to Grieving. Houston with the ball. Passes way out. Ball is almost stolen. Houston shoots. Houston made a big basket. An 11 point lead for Missouri. Those are his first points of the game. Catch him with the ball for Kansas into Bridges. Passes off. Shot by Correll is good. Alan Correll now has 10 points. And it's again a nine point lead for Missouri. Kansas pressing in the backcourt. Scott gets it in. 420 remaining in the game. Dowdy with the ball. Scott. Out to Grieving. To Dowdy. Out to Houston. Pretty cool for a sophomore that Houston is. Then he's fouled. Foul by Gardner. That's four on Gardner. At the free throw line is Lyle Houston, 6'5", 195 pounds, a sophomore from Grandview, Missouri. Left-hander. One and one, he makes the first one, gives him a 10-point lead. 4.02 remaining in the game. Kansas are really going to have to get hot. Houston made two for two. He has four points in the game. And again, Missouri has that 11-point lead. Gardner dribbling, giving it to the corner to Ellison. Now to Bridges. Fine move by Bridges, and he got in there. No Bridges scoring. He has 14 points in the game. Joe Scott gets the ball in the front court. Gives to Garrett, takes a return. Now they work the weave again. This is Houston. Pretty fast for a big fella, too. Garrett, back out to Dowdy. They run that clock. 3.30 left. Garrett was in, back out. Houston walked. Now he was fouled. He was fouled by Ellison. I thought he took an extra step, but it was the foul which caused him to do so. Houston at the free throw line, shooting one and one. 325 left in the game. He makes the first to get the second. He's three for three at the line. And he has five points since coming in only moments ago. Ten point lead for Missouri. Eleven again. Now an eleven point lead. Kansas hustling, trying to get back in the game. Ellison from the corner. No good. Missouri's ball. Dowdy gets it. Down to Garrett. Fine pass from Dowdy to Garrett. And Kansas has called timeout. <laughs> Howard Garrett made the last basket as Ken Dowdy made a fine pass, spotting him down there and hitting him with the ball. 13 point lead for Missouri with 309 left at 75 62. Don't forget. Tonight's fight of the week from Syracuse. Carmen Basilio going against Don Jordan in a 10-round battle of middleweights. That's the fight of the week, 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time, over most of these ABC stations. Puts the ball back in play. They trail by 13 points. Gardner to Ketchum. Into the corner, a shot by Ketchum. No good. Houston gets another rebound. He's been in the right spot for Missouri. Joe Scott trying to go all the way. Bridges gets the rebound, clears down to Gardner. It's a one on one. Can Gardner get around Dowdy? Dowdy gets the ball. Almost loses it. 240 left in the game. Scott to Garrett. 
Bridges with another rebound. Clears out in a hurry to Gardner. Missouri hustling back on defense. He walked with the ball. Allison walked with the ball. 225 left. Missouri by 13. Trying to even things up against Kansas for the year. Kansas will finish second in the Big Eight if they lose this. Kansas State, the conference winner. There's a uh, violation. Double dribble. Catch him in the front court. Bridges with the ball. Jumps and shoots. Off the board and in. Less than two minutes remaining. 155 left. Missouri leading by 11. There's a steal in the backcourt and a foul. Grieving committed the foul after the ball was stolen by Alan Correll and the clock stops with 144 left and Missouri leading by 11. Now he goes out. He played a fine ball game. Dowdy scored eight points. He's only a sophomore. Alan Correll at the free throw line. Shooting one and one. That cuts the Missouri lead to ten points with 144 left. And there's the Kansas bench. Correll has... 12 points in the game. And Kansas is pressing. Joe Scott gets by his man and brings the ball into the front court. Gives to Garrett. Garrett has come away from the post now to help with the ball handling. And he walked. Garrett walked with the ball. They stopped the clock because Garrett had thrown the ball away. 1.24 left. Now the clock is running again. Missouri leading by nine. Catch him. Gives to Correll. Well, he's been hot. 14 points for Correll. 110 left, and it's only a seven point lead for Missouri. Anything can happen. I give to Scott in the corner. Pass it back out to Garrett and takes a return, and now less than a minute remains. 55 seconds left. James Lockett is in the game. He's on the dribble, passes way back out to Garrett. He shoots. There's a whistle and a foul against Gardner. Gardner committed the foul. Gardner's out of the game. He scored 10 points while he was in there. Into the game comes Grover Marshall, 6-1, a sophomore from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Grover Marshall. 46 seconds left. This is Grieving at the line. He hasn't scored. Now he has an eight-point lead for Missouri. Sparky stalk up. Doesn't like the way things are getting quite so close. Joe Scott goes out of the game. Joe Scott completes his collegiate career here at Missouri. Senior from Gainesville has just left the ball game. While in there, he scored 12. Grieving hits again. Nine point lead for Missouri with 43 seconds left in the game. A shot by Ellison is good from the corner. Butch Ellison scores. Missouri press being pressed in the back court. Get the ball up front. Here's Houston. There's a charging foul by Houston of Missouri. Houston commits the foul and Missouri calls a timeout with exactly 30 seconds remaining. In this basketball game, there's the Missouri bench. There's the Missouri crowd. Missouri leading by seven. They led at halftime by five, 41 to 36. Two players were ejected from this ball game. The leading scorers of both teams, Charles Hank of Missouri and Wayne Hightower of Kansas. That was the result of a free-for-all that we had on the floor here. 
shortly after the second half began. 77-70 the score. Sparky Stalkup is still quite intent with his instructions to his boys, even though only a half minute remains. At the free throw line will be Grover Marshall, number 42, who just came into the game. Sophomore, 6'1", 190. Misses on the one and one. Bridges rebounds and scores with a hook. Five point lead for Missouri. There's a foul by Ketchum. 21 seconds remain. Ketchum commits his third foul. And Ken Doughty goes to the free throw line for the Tigers. Doughty has eight points. Now it's nine and he gets the bonus. Six point lead for Missouri. These two teams are bitter rivals in every form of athletics. Seven point lead again for Missouri. 19 seconds left in the game and the clock running. Catch him with the ball. Shot by Correll. Good, he's really been hot. He has 16. They tried a fast break. Only six seconds remain. Two. One. Correll hits again. The ball game is over. Missouri wins by three. That's the end of the game here at Columbia, Missouri. The final score is the University of Missouri, 79. University of Kansas, 76. Winter's here. Feel bright and gay. Enjoy the things you do each day. And here's a friendly little hint. Enjoy delicious double mint. Double your pleasure, double your fun with double good, double good, double mint gum. Double delicious, double smooth too. Double mints, double delightful to chew. So double your pleasure, double your fun. Get double everything, roll into one. Oh, double your pleasure, double your fun with double good, double good. Double your pleasure, double your fun with double good, double good, double mint gum. We're back here at Columbia, Missouri, and we wanted to talk to the captains of the clubs and the coaches of the two teams following the Missouri win by three points over Kansas, 79 to 76. First, Coach Dick Harp of the Kansas team. Coach, uh, I think the most, the biggest thing we can accomplish here is to show the people there that there are no hard feelings prevailing between the schools, between the coaches, and between the boys here. Certainly, Sparky and I have been friends for a long time. I have nothing but admiration for the University of Missouri. And for whatever part we play in this, we apologize for whatever part that, uh, or for whatever the incident has taught everyone here, including the coaches and players, and particularly the spectators, about basketball and why it's played. I think it's important that they understand this. It's supposed to be a game between fine young men. We think it's necessary that it remain that, and we intend to do our very best to see that it does. Well said, Coach. How about the basketball game? It was a great win for Sparky. It's been a long time coming to him, and he deserves it every bit today. Sparky, this was the first time in 11 tries that you've been able to beat Dick Harp and his ball well, club you, in Kansas. You see what we did? We ran into Hightower, and uh, then we ran, I mean, to uh, Chamberlain, and then we ran into Hightower, and uh, the pro baseball signed a couple of our kids. It's been real tough. Dick's a great coach, uh, Jack, and uh, a real great coach and a great guy, and uh, I regret the uh, thing that happened this afternoon, but sometimes in the heat of the battle, uh, those things happen. I'm sure that uh, Wayne Hightower, uh, I, I don't believe he wanted to swing, uh, but uh, he did, and uh, that started the Donnybrook. And uh, really, it's, it's regrettable because there's no place in intercollegiate athletics for uh, that type thing. You and I know that. We've been around it a long time, uh, Jack. Uh, it was a great win for our kids, a great uh, close for uh, Charlie Hank and uh, Joe Scott. Uh, both of them Let have been great. Let me bring him in here to say a word. 
Uh, both of them have been great for us, and uh, and uh, we are sorry, of course, we didn't win more, but this will make up for a lot of losses, I'll tell you that. Charlie, it's too bad the collegiate career had to end that way, but a nice game prior to that, nonetheless. Thank you. And Joe Scott, a nice game to you. Thank you. That's uh, for the benefit of the people here and the people in the gym. How about shaking hands with the fellas from Kansas here? And I know that, I know when the handshakes are made, they certainly will be meant with a good deal of sincerity. D. Ketchum, a uh, nice ball game. And I know that the incident is forgotten, and it's too bad that you just couldn't win the ball game, but it's been a wonderful season for you folks nonetheless. It sure has. We uh, won some disappointing ball games, but all in all, I think it's going to be, it's been a great season. 17 and 8, right? Right. Been a very good season. Congratulations to you. Well, thank you. Well, there, I think you uh, get an idea of the fine feeling that prevails between the two ball clubs now that the ball game is over, which Missouri won 79 to 76, and uh, the two ball clubs split on the season. This is going to be something. While we wrap things up here, we certainly, on behalf of ABC and all the people connected with the telecast, want to thank the NCAA for the fine cooperation right down the line throughout the entire year, particularly the athletic directors and, of course, the coaches of all the ball clubs who have been involved on these Saturday afternoon telecasts. I know that with, uh, I know that with Kurt Gowdy and uh, Bob Neal on hand that you folks enjoy these basketball games every Saturday afternoon. The final score was 79 to 76. Hope you enjoyed the action from Brewer Fieldhouse here in Columbia, Missouri. And I also hope that you denoted the tone of sincerity on the part of both coaches and the players as they shook hands at the close of the ball game here on court and on camera for you. A fine job behind the scenes was done all season by our engineering supervisors, Chuck Buzzard and Joe DeBonis. Also our thanks to cameraman John Dukwich, Don Farnham, Pete Weiss and Gene Wood, and to Jim Spence and Bob Gittens of the ABC production staff. The pickup of today's game was done by station KMBC-TV, Kansas City, technical director Bill Parker, our associate director Mac Hemian. This telecast was directed by Andy Sedaris and produced by Hugh Beach. Hello to Kurt Gowdy and Bob Neal, wherever you are. Today's championship college basketball game has been brought to you by today's breakfast of champions. Very special goodness in toasted whole wheat flakes. By Vitalis with V7. Keeps your hair neat all day without grease. And by Double Good Double Mint Chewing Gum. Adds to your pleasure anytime. And by ABC, where the top college basketball attraction has been presented each week for your viewing pleasure. This has been an ABC TV Network Sports presentation. Everybody's doing.